Hey, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the lineup bill for the LCK slate tonight. Um, starts 4 a.m. I'm going to post this to the YouTube channel right at 4. Um, but keep in mind, I'm going to be long asleep before then. So we have Gen G with a, it's like a 50 to 1 favorite. <laughs> so uh, I guarantee you, I'm not going to have any DRX. It's just, it's just way too unlikely that they win, that they lose. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have four man Gen G's though. And it doesn't even necessarily mean you're going to have four threes because as we've seen, I mean, Gen G can win kind of low scoring affairs. So this is going to be one of those slates where I think that there are going to be people that play these, these, uh, KT KDF stacks with the Gen G in the team. Uh, I think it could be so popular that it's probably, not even worth playing. I mean, because it really still doesn't win all too often. Um. Anyway, one thing that again I got a shout out to Gelati LOL for is his 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 take on KT Rolster has been pretty pretty solid. Is that you, the idea is that when these guys are favored, they just always underperform, and when they're underdogs, they always overperform. And uh, so if you stuck to that, you would have had them in a big big loss to uh. They had a big win. I think they have a big loss to Fred Brion or something. Anyway, now they're they're a big favorite against KDF. So uh, KDF is probably the side, but we're just going to see exactly what we what we come up with. So we uploaded our projections already, and we're just going to build here. Um, we're going to play forty lineups, and we'll you know we'll run a thousand, but we're not going to need this many. Um, and we'll everything else is going to be the same. And it's going to be very difficult to be unique if you want to know the truth. Um, you have to probably have some kind of stack, I guess, of this KDFKT to work. But if the Sims don't get me there, I'm not going to force them. So what can I tell you? So let's just see what we get and then what we come up with. Uh, we're going to, again, we're going to be playing the 40 lineups in the Shock Blast and one lineup in the Triumphant Warrior. And uh, we'll just go through this process. Can't imagine it being anything other than, well, I was about to say, am I need zero DRX? I think I am. I, I I don't just, when you're 20 to one underdog, it's just very, very difficult <laughs> to, 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 make a, to make a case for it, even if it's going to be extremely low owned. I mean, even if the whole team was going to be 5% owned, right? They still only win one out of 20 times and not even because that's actually splitting the bid, the, the VIG. It's probably more than one out of 35 times. So it's just never going to work. Um, okay. So let's just see what we get before we do anything else. Uh, I imagine it's going to be something like this. Yeah. Gen G with KT Rolster and then because KT is the favorite and then more with them and less with KDF as far as four man stacks, mostly Gen G and then some KT. This all makes sense given the, the win odds, but yeah, we could we could have a little fun with this. So let's uh let's 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 run some sims. We'll save these to the contests. Um well we'll pull up what we have from the contest, sorry, and then we'll run the sims and see what we get. All right. Um so we'll right click this, add this contest sim, and we're gonna use um this build as the representative field, as we usually do with League of Legends. Um, and then we have to set one up for a triumphant warrior as well. Um, again, we have to do that manually Add contest Sims triumphant warrior. Yeah. We're still going to use the build one payout structure. Pretty much the same, except they're only going to be like 20 people. Okay. So let's just run the Sims and let's just see if there's, you know, what we come up with. First of all, stack exposure. Oh, well, you're getting some four twos. That's, that's something. So let's see what we get here. All right. Um, so mostly all Gen G. What if we go like Min Uniques 2 or something? You know what? I think I've seen this before. I want to run this again. But let's 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 tag toggle away from here and toggle back. Yeah, so 100% Gen G, 
on top of these two, but let's see what the stack exposure is. So we are getting seven four twos and one three three. I think on a, on a slate like this, I probably would incline to go with it just just for funsies. Uh, the only thing is, is that you can't really play the lineups that are going to be 35 duped, you know? So we have to do some kind of ge of, of geo mean filtering. So let's take a look at this. And again, this is, you know, don't try this at home, but let's just see. Contest size 1568. Now, again, I should have all these memorized already, but we're 1568. Um, geo mean of 29.9 for one dupe. Uh, I mean, we could do it. I mean, it's not going to be easy, but we could do it. All right, let's, let's do that. 29.9. I think that's, that's perfectly reasonable uh, an attempt. Is that what it was? Only 29.9. I think we can, I think we can do this. Without going too crazy. Okay, so 29.9. Still getting some 4.3s, some 4.2s. We're going to get an all Gen G, right? So 100% Gen G, but it's mostly four man Gen Gs, but 29.9. Ah, is that going to be good enough? Actually, it should be 29.3, right? All right, so let's let's change that. 29.3, at least we're giving ourselves a chance here to be sort of unique. I don't know. Let's um make sure that we have no teams in the captain or anything like that. We'll take we'll take Gen G support in the captain for I mean Lehen's support in the captain for sure. Um yeah, so I guess this is fine. I, I don't believe in for a second that these are gonna be one duped, but this actually this is kind of cool at least. Um come some of these four twos, maybe. I mean this has to this has to be chalk. How is this not going to be a million times duped? I mean we could go a little lower. You know what? Let's not. Let's let's just go with this. And if we dupe a little too often, we dupe a little too often. It's it's still sticking to the process, which is important. Uh, and let's go back to the triumphant warrior. And again, the trick there is to not get duped again. Um, and we have to see what looks weird. Um, this is just a, looks like a straight four three Gen G. This is a straight four three. Okay, so this one's neat. We could try this one. Because this one, we put Gen G as the 4-3, but we put Perfect in the Captain. That might be a little bit different, at least. Not everybody's going to play that. So I think that's actually... I think that actually makes a little bit of sense. So let's try that. So we will delete this one. And we could do this one with Lehens in the support. Is that really going to be duped? Yeah, probably. Um, boy, this is really nasty. If we can actually get this one home, but yeah, you know, let's try it. Let's try this one with KT with the three, but we're putting a put perfect in the captain. Good enough. Good enough. All right. Not the greatest slate in the world to play, but we're playing it anyway. And we'll come back at like, you know, Hopefully I'm up to get a little bit of a sweat here. But again, we'll we'll hopefully this post at the right time. And we should be good to go. Um Okay, that should do it. Uh you guys are rooting obviously for Gen G and some combination of the other two and hope we get the right combination. It's not duped too often. That's it.